Now in this video here, we're going to explore the exact phrase count from the keyword phrase that we took from the brainstorming session that we had with the software, which brought us back, you know, um, as our main keyword phrase, the metal detector. Okay, so these are the results that we, uh, you know, that we did receive uh, from our previous video. So we're going to explore a little deeper into the software and show you the capabilities that it has to uncover possible niches. So here again, we've got our search count, which has given us our trend, exact phrase count, which is exact phrases found online, um, which would be this exact keyword phrase. Um, your um, OCI, which is your uh, customer intent, and your strength of competition. So we're just going to randomly grab our first one, which is metal detectors, which is a very generic term. So we check out the get exact phrase, and as you can see here, um, we're looking at competition of over 3 million. So this keyword phrase probably wouldn't be a good one to pursue at all. So we'll just pursue down more and randomly pick something that's not so generic. Here's one, white metal detectors. And we'll open this up. As you can see here, now normally by a rule of thumb, I don't go any higher than 25,000 for my competition. If it's a really good one, sometimes I'll go as high as 30, but as a rule of thumb, I stay able, I stay able 25,000 or lower. So this one here is already starting to look interesting. So we'll check this out so we can come back to it later and explore more of the tools. Let's look for another one. Now here's another one without the S for exact keyword phrase. And this one here, as you can see, it's got 12,300 competitions. So that one there would be a good one. And please keep in mind that anything that we find here in these videos, um, any little micro niches that you discover here, please feel free to use them. Um, any information I reveal here is for your use, and you can take advantage of as much as you like. Um, so we're going to explore a little bit more. You can see here's that white metal detector again, spelt out in a different way. So we'll check the exact phrase. And as you can see here, it gets lower. And our search count is still 2,900 searches per month. I don't necessarily go under 200. I keep it 200 and above. So this one here is looking good. We'll check this one so we can research further. Here's one by name. Now this one here is a very tight niche. We'll check the exact phrase count. And here's 20,000. Again, it's below our line, so that one looks good. And as you can see here, it, it really gives you back a real good sense of information. Not only does it give you the exact searches per month, but it gives you the exact keyword phrases as far as your competition goes. It gives you the trending. It gives you right here, as we'll go up to the top here so I can show you, the ad cost and something like AdWords. So whether you're running a um, AdSense campaign or you're looking to dive into AdWords and pay for your ads, the information here can be really useful in both cases. So we'll keep going on and reveal some of these and find out what other information we can discover here. So let's go to gold detectors. That one here is below our line. So we've got a good starting point um, as far as you know niche keywords to explore for this pop possible um, niche or micro niche for metal detectors. So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll look through more of these. And in our next video, we'll, we'll explore the other two options, which is the commercial intent as well as the um, strength of competition to find out that these keyword phrases are worth exploring. So as you can see, we showed you the exact keyword phrase, which is your competition. We've broken down the brainstorming session, which uh, gave us the idea to explore metal detectors. We've seen the trending, the search counts per month. As you, as you can see, this software really gives you back some really powerful information to this point. But we still want to explore it uh, further so we can do a real great review in total of this software. So keep an eye out for the next video as we go into the next two options to find out if, these, if this niche is um, going to be profitable for us. If you would like more information on the software product you just previewed, 
and reviewed, drop by our website at digitalmindfood.com, keyword, micro niche, and find out what other people who have used this software rank it as far as ease of use, value for the money, and overall quality, as well as find out what ranking I gave this piece of software. So if you're interested in finding out whether this fits your internet marketing, affiliate marketing needs, either click the link to your right or to the bottom of this video. And until next time, this is DigitalMindFood.com.